had basically a two week slot and we didn't know what to do and we thought let's invite our friends and we thought we'd have just a few friends come to show with us and we never imagined it would turn out to be this vast and this varied and this huge. We have anything from basic drawing, painting to sculpture. We have mixed media where you're combining two different elements together like paint and photography. Among the artists on display is the multi-talented Marilyn Lightstone, who aside from her impressive acting resume is also a singer, a radio host, and a visual artist. Um, I call them temple walls, one, two, and three, because they're mixed media pieces based on photographs I took of some temple walls in Bali. I, I have this theory that art is not only things that you make from scratch, but that there are, that there's art everywhere. All you have to do is look and, and find it. And uh, in the case of these pieces, it's abstract art. If you look around, you find abstract art everywhere you go. So I wanted to take these temple walls, which are abstract art pieces, and then combine that with painting. When did you first get involved with the visual arts? Since I was a little kid, really. Yeah. Uh, when I was a child, I thought I was gonna be a painter because I was always painting and drawing and whatnot, but I was also doing other things. And uh, as it turned out, I didn't become a painter, I became an actress, but I knew one day I would return to, to painting, and finally that day arrived, and uh, I went back to it willingly. But of course, I didn't realize at the time that photography would become a very important part of it, that my travels would become very much a part of my art too, because that's usually when I, I have time to look and see and, and explore. What do you think of the different variety and kinds of work that are on display here? I think that's one of the great attractions of the show. I mean, you seldom come to an opening that has this crowd of people. And it's nice to come out to something like this and be able to see a wide variety, uh, as opposed to sometimes you see just individual artists. It's nice just to see a, a, a nice cross-section of what's happening in the artistic community. If you'd like to learn more about Marilyn's artwork, you can log on to her website at MarilynLightstone.com. Here at the Propeller Art Gallery on Queen Street West, I'm Darren Maharaj for Zoomer News.